With the stage profile, the lights seemed grim for Peter Sagan to grab the stage success. The Cannondale leader had good chances to take it home, but he failed, despite having his team riding in the front all along. And his effort to counter Van Ammermatt's attack in the final climb, when the sprint came, the Slovakian missed the energy he needed. Matteo Trentin had what it took, the Sagan is the third, second position of a stage this year. Already last year he finished five times in second or third position. Epernay Nancy, the second longest stage in this 2014 tour, will not give much respite to the riders. As soon as the stage began, the first rulers decide to attack. In the breakaway are three Frenchmen, Pichou of Hurlcar, Ede of Cofidis and De La Place of Team Bretagne Séché, Switzerland champion Martin Elmiger of Team EM, the Paul Uzowski of NetApp and the American Bushi of Trek. The advantage goes up to 2 minutes 45 at its best. In the front of the peloton, the Astana riders leave the management of the pace to Peter Sagan's teammates. The pack plays cat and mouse with the breakaway riders. The gap shrinks to less than a minute for the six frontmen with 80 kilometers to go. So far, there wasn't much luck for the breakaways. As a consequence, the escapees try to attack, Ede goes alone, and a few kilometers further, Uzowski and Elmiger also leave the leading group. 20 kilometers to the finish line, the pack finally catches them all to prepare the end of stage. In the first of the two difficulties of the day, Thomas Vokler makes an attempt in vain. And later, TJ van Garderen suffers a crash. It's never good for a top five contender. In the last climb, the sprinters are dropped to the back of the pack. The battle starts with Greg van Avermaet's attack. Peter Sagan takes his will. The peloton splits and the yellow jersey group manages to come back for a small bunch sprint with 20 men. Matteo Trentin takes the stage win from the day's favorite, Sagan, who left some energy in the last two kilometers. It's Trentin's second win on the tour after his success in Lyon last year. I heard that I won on the radio. I had no idea because it was a very close sprint. To tell the truth, I thought at first that I was behind Sagan, but in the end, I heard on the radio that I was ahead. Once again, Peter Sagan misses the stage win but takes precious points to retain his green jersey in Paris. This morning, TJ Van Garderen was at the foot of the top 10. Today, with his crash, the American concedes one minute. The overall classification is still dominated by Vincenzo Nibali, who will have a six day in yellow, still counting. This Saturday, hostilities resume between Tomblen and Gérard May on the menu of the stage in the Vosges Mountains, smaller climbs than in the house, but tough ramps in the last 20 kilometers of the course. Two category two climbs, the Col des Moines and the Col de Grosse Pierre before the summit finish in Gérard May in La Moselaine Resort. Today, the riders say farewell to the plain stages, which will come back in week three. <laughs>